Hey, welcome to a quick feature video. Have you ever wanted to store internal documentation on a customer or maybe policies, procedures, employee handbook type stuff and didn't have a place to put it? Well, we have your answer. Um, head to settings, <coughs> tab settings, and you will see a new option for the wiki. The wiki has been in there for a little while, but it just got a major upgrade. Turn this guy on and then when you head to the wiki, you'll have a welcome page, a search box, and you can see some of your pages. So um, we've got this welcome page here. I'm gonna I'm gonna open that guy up, and um, we'll make a quick edit. So here it is. It's got a nice um, editor, HTML editor. Um, I've got this link in here that goes to new awesome page. So this is how you make a link to a new page. You just like. Um, Link test page test page. You can do spaces, it'll convert to hyphens, but this is a good way to do it. And then once it's linked, you just hit update. You just kind of make a link to nowhere. And then when you click that link, it says page not found, create it now. So we are making a test page. Create. Cool, so now we're in test page. You can go back to the main page. You've got your test page link that goes to your test page. You've got an edit button. Um, so that's the basics of how the wiki works. You can create numbered list, first, second, third. You can do all kinds of stuff you would expect to be able to do, pop in images. It wants like a public URL here, but you could like, you know, go grab something from imager or whatever. Giphy. This isn't very safe, but um, can we find an image link here? There we go. That's how you can pop an image in too. So um, the main page is here. You can always search. Um, Search shows all the articles that have the thing in it. Um, you can store passwords, you can store network documentation, all kinds of stuff here. And now that it's available on the nav, it should be a little bit more usable. Have fun!